Alfred and crew are here getting set up. We had a huge rainstorm last night and a ton of water came in. Unfortunately, I've got to work on that door threshold, which is now where it's coming from. But I have a shop back, so I've taken the filter off and I need to empty it and get it set up to suck up water and go take care of that before we get started. Today was going to be an extremely busy work day. There's five of us down here working and we have a lot to do. So there wasn't time to do any kind of setup on shots. Not that we do a lot of that anyway. I just set the camera up and let it go. So this will give you a sense of what it's really like when we get together to work. It's fun, it's crazy, it's usually highly productive, and as always, we love our volunteers. I can't thank these guys enough. Hi, good morning. It's Janie here at the Lake Kempner House, and we are with our incredible heroes again today. We've got Emilio, Alfred, Pepper, and Herbie, and today we're tackling the permanent wall that will go up so that we can take down this temporary beam. And we had a little flooding incident. We know where it comes from. It's from a temporary door. Water hits it and runs in. We may tackle that problem today, but we've been shop backing and bringing in tools and we're getting set up and we're ready to go. So this is exciting. Let's get started. And thank you guys so much. They have done, sure. they have done thousands of dollars of work down here and donated material. I just don't know where we'd be without these guys. Oh, I'm going to cry again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get teary eyed on, on that video sometime when people help us like this, but thank y'all so much. It's glorious out there. The rain has stopped. The sun is out. There's a cool breeze. And you'll notice in the video, we've got plywood off a couple of the windows down here. So you can see how much brighter it is down here. So we're going to get to it. Let me make sure I recorded that because sometimes I forget to, um, yeah. Okay. So, um, do we want to line up with that? Yeah. Column? No, the first thing we have to do is figure out where the wall is going to go uh -huh. and the concrete beam. So the old, uh, wall for the cistern lined up with this, um, concrete support there. Yeah. But and then the new beam was poured two feet off that. So it actually, ends it ends about right here and it's it's basically kind of right beside it so i thought i would make this let's see you can measure from this wall i think nine i think nine feet and i know everything's probably not quite square so i think i'd like the apartment to be square because it's a small room and it may be noticeable if it's off whereas when you come from the um, upstairs, this will be an angled wall and it won't be noticeable. So I think if we go nine feet to the wall, let's see where that ends up. Right. Yeah, it ends there, but the, the wall's not going to go all the way down. The, the wall here is going to angle over. So this wall is going to stop about right here. So about right here at nine feet is where we want to start this wall and go back. Yeah, we're not going to finish that wall. We're going to leave it brick. I'm going to build a chase out around the plumbing and leave that exposed. All right. Okay. So nine foot six would be right here. Let me just, let me look at something real quick. We can lay it out. We can lay it out with the two by fours and lay it out first and look at it. Okay, we think we have it figured out. We are going to use this post as a guide. Okay, nine foot one and a half. And we're going to square up the living area in the apartment. So you measure over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So that one, I had to see my mark on yeah. this side. Let me just go measure that again and make sure. That yeah. Yeah, I yeah I'd, rather, I'd rather the living room be square and this will be, because this is wonky with the post and everything anyway. Nobody will ever notice. So if we have anything off kilter, we'll put it over there. Did yeah. you measure outside or inside? I, I measured outside here. On outside. This one. So nine, why, nine. 
So then here would be eight foot ten. Okay. Let's make sure we're measuring yep. inside and outside the same. Okay, you measure up here? Yeah. Okay. So yes. one nine foot one and a half there. Nine foot one and a half. Yeah. To the outside. To the outside. And then but the wall is, is going out. So maybe do it over there. Well let me show you that. Uh, there is nine foot, nine foot one, so we'd have to come out half. So we're looking at our little cremones. I don't know if you can see well because it's backlit, but you took one of these home? Yeah, I took one with me to work. Oh, to work? Yeah, and uh, there at work I have access to uh, some acid solutions. And so I soaked these and literally got them where... They look brand new. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I have a whole bucket full that Heather and I took off the other windows. Okay. So if I go find those, yeah. some of them are long pieces. How big a bat do you have? I can put it, I can put the uh, solution in anything like a, like a Pyrex pan, 9 by 13 or whatever. Okay. So, so I'll give you all the smaller stuff to yeah. put in. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, and then if I need to something, how big are those other pieces? Well, they're the long rods that go top oh. to bottom. Well, those I can have the guys in the shop just buff those up with the wire. Okay. Those, those will come out nice and get all the stuff off. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty. You said it has a pattern on it? Yeah, it's got like a little, like a, a wheat, cut wheat sheath mm -hmm. or whatever they call them. And it's like like on the back of a, of a half dollar. Uh-huh. Like this, that. Yeah, the bundle of wheat. Yeah. Sheep. Yep. It's beautiful. Okay, we are so slow to get started. And I don't know, this may be a day we should just go home. We are, we are, uh, it's, uh, it's a hour and a half. We're just barely getting going. Where's my taco? <laughs> Alfred made breakfast tacos. <gasps> and, he brought, and he brought me goodies. Brought you some mallets, a little finishing hammer. A little, that's a little uh, glazing hammer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and a baby hammer. That's the kind of hammer I use. And that's the regular hammer right there. All right. But Our hammers trays. walk off. I had about six at one time, and now I'm down to one. And then I brought you these work trays. Oh, oh great. We can, we've been sorting and organizing. So are you just cutting a template to check it? Yeah. Yeah. So he's working on the angle down here. We want this flush to the wall. So he's got a scrap. He's going to cut and lay it out. Make sure it works. And this is an eight foot, and it's just shy of being long enough. But we have a 12 or 10 footer, looks like. It's not the prettiest, but it's treated and it'll work. It'll be covered. So once he's happy with the angle, I'll transfer it over and cut this guy and then mark it. Okay, those guys are working on that. Alfred and I are working on piecing together plywood to cover in the bathroom. Let's see. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Just, yeah. You wanna cut the other end off? I'll do this one, you do that one. You ready? Uh, you want a uh, um somehow I think eyeballing <laughs> is probably quality enough for this. All right, we're coming and going all over the place. You know what we might do is um, well, interrupt them while they're working, but they're they've got to put the top plate on, so they have to get plumb with the bottom plate. Going up here. That is my security alarm. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's coming from upstairs. So 
anyway, they've got to get plumb to this sole plate, put the top plate on. And we could just set a post under each joist, but we eventually need to put up some kind of wall covering, hopefully our beadboard. So we're going to need that top plate as a nailer. So, I need one eighty seven and three eighths. Eighty seven and three eighths. So they also want to make sure they end it on a joist so it's not free hanging. Alfred's. <laughs> you push down on the. Oh, is it? Oh, he already angled it. You're angling it? Or? No, I'm putting it straight. Oh. Can't tell. Oh. Can't see. Can't see. <laughs> That's our good piece. That's our good piece. So we're just putting these up with one screw. Well, actually that one's dry. That one can go up. We put this one up with one screw because it's so wet. When it dries, I'm going to take it down and paint it like the other. But this one, just sit like that. I think I think that works. Hey, Herb, come here for you a need you need to. Uh, I got it. Oh, she got it. You got it. She got it. She got it. Okay, get our drill. Yeah, we're not slapping anything. We're precision. <laughs> we're precision. Oh, you know, hey, we're we'll, precision uh, fitting. Check in the toolbox. Have pepper, pepper check in the toolbox. All right, that's good. Uh huh. Oh, were you about to say something you don't want on the camera? No, well, you <laughs> Here, I'll turn it, it off. No, 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 <laughs> I try to edit out. Edit Most of the good edit. stuff gets edited out. <laughs> I, when I worked, I had a guy that he did not like me much, and we were having a project, and anyway, it was very contentious. And then later we had litigation and discovery, and everybody had to provide all their notes and meeting notes and I had to review everything and in the margin of his notes he said Jared uh Janie Mitchum very disturbed what <laughs> language and I was like okay yep that That's, would describe hey, that would know, that needs to go this way at the top it's a little curvy well whatever okay. uh, what am I doing what am I doing? One more. You can do it. Oh, I can't. I can't. Oh. That's the end of my reach. I can't need a lipstick on reach. <laughs> Stretch. Alrighty. Um, are we clear on yeah, this one? Right, right, I probably need to be actually on the real line on this one because this is not. That is so nice. My little saw would have taken 20 minutes going, e, e, e. <laughs> So, Jenny, I'm missing, you missed the line a little bit. I'm up. That's all right. That's the part that. Um, it's going to hang over. Oh, wait a minute. This is that the part? I'm assumed that was the part that hung over. There's your knife. Yeah, that's my hangover. Yeah. That's my hangover okay, on the end. The inside. Okay, yeah. I, I can't be encumbered by lines, Alfred. <laughs> that's why my husband has problems working with me. <laughs> Because I'm just like out there. I'm, I'm like, it's a temporary bathroom. It's not going to be up very long. Just get it on there.
Oh, yeah. That's like you, you hey, sure. grab this other end over here. Your quality quality should match the longevity of the project. This is I'm gonna say it, temporary. Uh oh, the wall is not level. What? We've got a little we either need to notch our board or this. It's sticking out in the way. We could just notch our plywood some more. No, that's not that. That's not. One of the greatest oh. inventions ever, next to the All right. Let's try again. All right. Oh. All right, towards me. You're, all right, you're tight. Up. All right, are we good? Yes. Okay, so we don't need to screw that one up. We know it fits. We'll just let it sit here and dry. Okay. And then I'll paint hopefully paint the correct side. All right, so that seals up this bathroom except for a door. So let's go take a peeky over here. That's a clean out. I'm not a clean out, a test fitting for a pressure test. Okay, so we need a little... While we were busy messing with the plywood, they were getting the first post up. So this is one of those double joists. And we're using Alfred's free 4x6 timber. So way more than a 2x4. But we just have to get it plumb on both sides and we're putting these directly below every joist. So it is a little bit of overkill, but as I said before, we have them and they're free, they're treated, so we might as well use them. Wait, I have a present for you. Oh, look what you got, hammer time. Here I come to save the day. There. Ooh, I'm not sure why it's so taped up, so be careful. It might have a split in it. So, okay, so on the bottom, it needs hammer to gently. Three fourths of an inch in the First, they're just eyeballing it. Right there. Right there's good. And then we'll put the level on it on both sides and check it. There you go. Level. What about the other way? No, no. The oh. front, front to back away. Level. Level, level, level. Level. No, plum, plum, plum. Plum, plum. Peaches, peaches. <laughs> level. All right, one down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to go. Oh, really? How many of them? Oh, Just you put one under every joist. Under every joist. Seven Why not? Yeah, yeah. And Why not? Because actually, you know, that's not going to yeah. help with anything. Yeah, it'll, it'll sag. It'll right sag in, in between. Yeah. So we might as well. Yeah, 14,000 pounds you want to be on the air on the good That side is of a lot of weight up there. If you had been in this house when they took that down and heard it, 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 didn't, it didn't pick up on the camera. I was really sad because it just, right. we, we, were all, we were all kind of standing waiting to run. <laughs> <laughs> more nails. Oh, more nails. More nails. Okay. Herbie's right. The I boat. Okay, so that end is down. super. Yeah, I know, I know, I know yeah look, look at it. Look at it. It's just I wanna, curve as curve could be. Yeah, that, but I you can get. Sure use one and it's kind of straight. Right. On the corner. Okay. Well, that, the, the other wall's going to be. Yeah, you can right. see this thing just okay. drops down at least that way we, three quarters of an inch. At least it's not that. Right. Yeah. 
Right. Yeah, there are. This one is to be passed from here to there. Yeah, and there's not. Yeah, I use that one over. This okay. One. On the other one over here. Okay. On the are you gonna put the? Oh, you're gonna put the two ends up first. Jane, and it's that this floor is jacked up. It's level. It's level, right level, and it's it's directly at level. Maybe, maybe a, maybe a is it on eighth the quarter side? inch high. Okay. Yeah, so so that when it comes off, it can set down a little bit. So they need to be pretty tight, but but they will, and it will compress that wood on the yeah, top plate. Like some a, you'll get it. Some indentation case on scenario, it. You get like a 316 compression set. Yes, and then we should be good above. Okay. And then there were two. So this is going much faster actually than the bathroom because there's no obstructions and as I said we don't have to block anything, turn corners, get level, it's just getting that plate down and cutting these big posts to fit. So I'm optimistic today. So what, what was your question? This is the old framework. Oh, that's for the, the arch. that's the underneath of the uh, hearth. So they used to do it like that. I can oh, show you on the second floor because they were used to building for coal or wood burning. Gotcha. And so they actually use brick, and then there's a sand layer, so that if an ember pops out, it goes between the tiles are not set, so it can go in and go in the sand and be put out. So even though these were gas fireplaces, yeah. the There's workmen built them as if they were working wood burning yeah. because that's what they knew construction wise oh so it God. serves no purpose whatsoever in this house but they're cool square nails with our bathroom wall up alfred moves over to the chauffeur's quarters to start doing some prep along our kitchen wall to get it ready to be framed all right the walls are up we've got our new wall got everything nice and level we decided to add our own beam act as a header carry it over to the bathroom just because we could and now we're going to loosen the jacks Pepper, where you and at? get these sure. shorter posts down. Uh-uh. Nope. This one's freestand. And that long beam is very heavy. Oh, I can imagine. <laughs> like unmanageably heavy okay. that's the one we just hand tightened I'm gonna leave this one here let's break this one yeah okay did you, did you notice any kind of movement on the ceiling joints no okay good okay no movement no sound Everything about getting this wall down is difficult and requires a lot of physical strength. Those jacks are very heavy and they're sitting high up on those posts. The posts are heavy, but particularly the beam above is extremely heavy. Well, I just got to figure out which way it's going to fall. Yeah. Want me to get under first? Sure. <laughs> So jacked it up pretty tight against the concrete here, so yeah. it's kind of press fit in there. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, that's the next one. What's the next one? I don't know. But, but that beam is 
so heavy. Yeah, can we stab it with something? Yeah, that's what we want to do. Yeah. You gotta make sure you hold it over there. I got it. I got it. No, because the weight. Put your foot on. Put your foot on the. Go over there. That sounds right there. Put. Okay, you want to get a jack and jack it up? Yeah, Let's do try that. that. All right. All right, okay. Now we gotta. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, now we gotta put the weight back down. Okay. That's the scary part. That's the scary part because this thing is so heavy. This long one is so heavy. Like three. Like three of y'all need to be under this thing because it is like super heavy. All right. Pepper, come help. Pepper, Here, let's get. Hold on. Let's get this out of the way so nobody steps backwards and trips. And you gotta go last will and testament. Okay. Yeah. I'm in the water. Go ahead. <laughs> I want to see the world. Mm. Real slow, her. Real slow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Woo, did you hear that? Yeah, I'm telling you. The whole house makes a noise. Okay. Hey. I hear that. <laughs> I don't want to die here with this ghost. All right, no, no. I just then you can't, would be, I then can't you resist would be, the temptation right now. <laughs> Do that for the camera. Do that for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> if you prepping, you don't like him. Well, I have to go. I'm prepping, you don't like him. All right. Well, what now? What? Hey, well, can you press that one loose from the wall? Uh-uh. Well, press it on this one. That's why. She said it was so tight over there. They jacked it. They, yeah. they, they put it up here and jacked it there. Yeah. Okay. So, right. honestly, I get put out of the way. I'd get there. out of the way. Yeah. Get out of the way. All right. From under it. Everybody out from under it. Way far away uh, from under it. Under. Amelia, go, let that, go out the other way. Yeah. Just let that fall in there. It's yeah. Sledge Hold on. Let's move this out the way. Get that. And be careful with the. Uh... Or I could have been filming and got that, but I didn't. Ah, sorry. <laughs> it's down. But hey, it's holding. <laughs> it's holding. Here we go, man. The lone Staying post. Be slow. Okay, All hold right, that. Hold that end up. Uh, hold that. Oh, I can press it. Okay. Hold that end up. Somebody. I got it. Let it go. Let it go. Okay. Let it go. 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 There it goes. All right. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Now you, you can go ahead and pull that one out. Hold on. Let me grab the plates. You're going to drop your end. You got it? Got it. All right. Let's down with it. And Watch out. I heard nothing. I heard no groaning. Alright, so there you go. Finally, I can do something. That's solid. Solid. Take a look down this. Like this way. And make, make some room now. That looks good. Now that is a wall. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's, that's, yeah, that's a little that's a little over six. over engineered. What's the safety factor on that? that? About hundred <laughs> percent. Oh way more than that. Just, way more than standing, that. Standing standing wood. We started out slow, but it turned out to be an incredibly productive day. These guys are just so wonderful and they wanted to go outside and have their picture made with our porta potty because the next time they come volunteer this thing will be gone and we will be ecstatic but it's not gone yet and there's still much to do so the next day joe and i were back to do some small chores the best thing about this video is that i'm standing in the alcove
with the windows. Oh, and there's Marjorie. <laughs> she is. I don't know. She had her camera in her pocket. <laughs> that was that was disturbing. <laughs> Turned around and saw somebody walking. Hey. I know. It was pretty for about two hours. Marjorie was here to take some pictures of our windows. She has been working very hard to research and fill out the application for us to get a historical marker from the state of Texas. So we are very excited about that and we will tell you more about that process in a future video. But for now, we are wrapping up another week here at the Lee Kempner House. Things are moving along fast. Thank you guys so much for supporting us here on YouTube. Be sure and check out Instagram and Facebook for more contemporaneous posts on what's going on at the house. And thank you everyone who has been generously donating. We are a nonprofit and we need that support to continue our work here as we strive to restore and preserve this incredible house. We'll see you next week.